Welcome back everybody, my name is Dalen and you are tuning into the Strike X Lounge. I am starting a new series, a series of how to's to get you acquainted with the Strike X wallet. Now in these series, I'm gonna show you everything on how to use the Strike X wallet, how to get acquainted with it, how to start a new wallet, how to import, how to use all the different features in it. So very exciting little series. Uh, this video is just gonna get started off by showing you guys how to create a new wallet using the Strike X wallet. And then every video after this is gonna show you uh, everything else features included and whatnot. So with that out of the way, let's get started in creating a new wallet. All right, so we can see on the screen here, a crypto wallet that actually makes sense. There's a few different um, bits of information here, portfolio and asset tracking, multi-chain and cross-chain, um, lots of great features about the wallet, it gives you a little rundown on everything. But right here, you can see there's buttons down here that say create a new wallet and I already have a wallet. So if you're creating a new wallet, you're gonna click that first one. And if you have a seed phrase that you'd like to input and transfer everything over from an existing wallet, like say MetaMask or Trust Wallet, you would click the I already have a wallet. So let's just go ahead and click create a new wallet. So that's gonna go in and it's gonna tell you a little bit about what your seed phrase is. So 12 words that you are going to write down on a piece of paper or put it on a steel punch card or something along those lines, but your seed phrase is for your eyes only, don't show it to anybody. This is your only way to recover your cryptocurrency account, your, your wallet account, if you lose it or something goes wrong. So remember, this is for your eyes only and make multiple copies. So continue. Okay, we can see right here your recovery phrase and it's going to give us 12 words and it's going to show us the order that those words are in. Where can we can refresh or we can copy them. We can refresh and it'll give us an absolute new set of words if we don't like it or there's a word in there that we don't like. So we'll just wait for that to load and then it's given us a new set of words. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna either copy those words if you wanna paste them. Don't post these online, don't keep them in your phone. I wouldn't recommend that at all unless you're copying these to put into a wallet or something. But otherwise, it's just a bad idea to have your seed phrase online in case you get hacked or something. Always keep it offline. So let's say we like these words, we can just continue. Okay, now, after you've written them down in order, you're gonna have to go ahead and say, okay, I think this one is in one, duh, 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 you know, and it's gonna, we're just gonna click on these. We didn't actually write these down. This is just an example. Do, do, do. Okay, we did not enter them in the correct order, so it gave us an error. So we're gonna go back and you can read your seed phrase again. Okay, so now that we've put them in correctly, it says, well done. We can go ahead and we can either copy them if you really need to copy them, or we can go on to the next one. And now we get to go ahead and name our wallet and we can just name this test. Go on to the next part and it's just gonna load for a second. Now we have to create an actual pin for the app that this is gonna be used whenever we wanna go into the app. So let's just do one, two, three, one, two, three. And we can also turn on biometric login or face ID if you're on Apple. Let's say yes and then Go in, congratulations. And then it will say, I confirm, I have made a note and let's go and it will take you into your newly created wallet. So that is how you create a new wallet. Again, write down your seed phrase and keep that handy.